So, let's have a talk about this book, shall we? You're wondering, I'm Jaime Moreno, and I'm your danger reporter. Let's have a talk about Infidel. Infidel is... It's a book that had somewhat of a good concept to start with. I mean, uh, it, it started out with a pretty good premise. Uh, what happens if fears, hatred, all of these uh, bugbears that we have in our individual lives, what if they ended up becoming something that, uh, you know, what if they ended up becoming the ghosts that haunt you inside your house? Infidel does this. However, the premise is good, the art is great, but we've got major problems with it. I, I, I've got major problems with this book. It's based around a Muslim woman and her husband who are living in a house in, in I want to say, New York City. The neighbors don't like her. The mother-in-law seemingly used to not like her. And then there's the spirits of those who dislike the Muslims because of, uh, you know, the, the specters of 9-11. Now, with that out of the way, here's what's wrong with this book. Uh, Pisha Shodi has pretty much written in politics into this image book. This seems to be pretty much par for the course with everything that Image does lately, as you can see with the debacle of Michelle Perez. I bought this before that entire debacle anyways. I'm just getting my review in my reviews out of the way. But if basically these ghosts are after this Muslim woman, her husband thinks the mother-in-law is being possessed by these ghosts and wants to destroy her, take away their child. Whole lot of virtue signaling in this book, kids. You know, the whole, everyone thinks Muslims are evil, this, this, and this, they hate you, they're going to kill you, they want to kill you. Everything's trying to kill you. These specters hate you. Trying to represent something that's there, but it isn't. As far as what I think of this book, again, excellently drawn, not a bad premise. However, you put in too much virtue signaling inside one book, and it's going to lose the audience forever. Much like Eternity Girl, which uh, I thought had a good premise as well. I mean, I'm not going to agree with uh, every other comic out there. Mags has potential to be a good writer if Mags would get her head out of her ass. With this book, I will say much the same thing. If the writer can get his head out of his of his ass and produce a book contrary to what everyone else is doing, this could have a turnaround in issue two. However, I don't see that happening with this book. Uh, this book is full of virtue signal everywhere, full of all these people hate you because all these people X hate you because of Y. This is a definitely a book that you do not buy. And Image as a whole is getting to be that way as a company. That's all I got, kids. You want to support? Like, comment, subscribe. Links below. I do thank you for watching this. I thank you for listening. Have a good one.